And then there's a proper way to apply the tourniquet. I don't know if you're aware of that. Right. So it depends on your de dominant hand. Like I'm right-handed. So you should have a shorter side and a longer side. Shorter side is significantly short. Longer side, definitely longer. What you would like to do is to create a low loop on your longer side. And right over left. And that's it. This is the suggested way of applying your tourniquet. So even if it's even even if it flaps around, it won't touch your insertion point. Okay. Now, what do I do if I want to tighten my tourniquet? What do I want to do if I want to uh, release my tourniquet? Whenever I would like to tighten my tourniquet, I just pull the shorter side in the loop. It will tighten it. If I want to release my tourniquet, I just pull the longer side. Okay. Unlike when we normally do when no hula tayo about to how to apply the tourniquet, you end up ending up hurting your patients. Okay, so let me do that again. Create a low loop and then right over left. What happens if I apply a loop somewhere up there? So what if I do this and then I apply my tourniquet? Most of the time, I don't know or I can't tell where my shorter, longer side is. And it doesn't look nice. It's not tidy. So let me do that again. Longer side, shorter side, shorter side, create a low loop. Turn the game maximum off. How many minutes? Two, Two minutes. minutes. That's right. So there you go. Pull. That's it.